The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so number two, we have a piecewise function where it's asked to evaluate a bunch of different limits in the problem. So our function is we have absolute value of x plus 1 for x less than 0. We just have the function 1 if x is in between 0 and 3. And we have negative 1 over x minus 3 if x is greater than 3. So we need to find out a bunch of different limits here. So we have 0 from the left and right and 0 itself. 3 from the left and right, and 3 itself. So let's figure out what all those are. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the left. So 0 from the left is using the top function, because that's the one that has values less than 0. If we plug in 0 there, absolute value of 0, 0, 0 plus 1. So this would be 1. Remember that when you're doing limits, unless there's a problem in dividing by a number or something like that, you can always just use direct substitution. I mean, to like dividing by zero or anything like that. You can always just use direct substitution. You have to make sure, though, that you're using the correct function. So the limit as x goes to zero from the right, from the right, we need numbers bigger than zero, and in that case, we're going to be using the middle uh, function, because that's the one where x's are bigger than zero. That's just one as well. So both of these are one. That tells you that the limit as x approaches 0 is 1, since it was the same from the left and the right. So let's do that same test with 3. Limit as x approaches 3 from the left, and limit as x approaches 3 from the right. So as we approach 3 from the left, we have to use the middle function, because that's the one that has x is less than 3, we get 1. 3 from the right, we have to use the bottom one because that's where x's are bigger than 3. Now, if we try to plug in 3 directly, we get 0 on the denominator. If you're dividing by 0 with a number on top, you're always going to have infinity or negative infinity. We just need to determine which one. And we can just do that by thinking about the signs. We have a number bigger than 3. If we take a number bigger than 3 and subtract 3, that's a positive result. Negative over positive is going to be negative, so we knew it had to be either infinity or negative infinity. Since we know it's negative, it has to be negative infinity. So our two limits from the left and the right are different. So that tells you that the limit as x approaches 3, so you would put does not exist because the left and the right limits are different. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.